Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Guys, today I'm going to go over the misconception of deleting your prefetch folder in order to gain disk space or speed up your computer. And here's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and open up a uh, file explorer here. Now, a lot of videos I've seen uh, that are tutorials on how to speed up your computer and get rid of junk. Uh, go over this prefetch folder. Uh, prefetch folder is in your root C drive for most of you, and then Windows, and then all the way down here to prefetch. Now, a lot of these videos are saying come into this directory and delete everything out of here to speed up your computer. Well, the fact of the matter is, if you delete everything in here, it could potentially actually slow down things in your computer. And here's why. So this Windows Prefetch folder is a system directory used by Windows to speed up applications and system startup times. So this folder and the contents of it is actually designed to actually make your computer faster. And the way that it works is when you open a application or a program, say like down here, I got Chrome open and a few others. It actually places a PF file in here, uh, which is a, a prefetch file. And what these files contain is information about which files and resources that application needs to load. And so it's basically already preloaded. So if you were to go down here, say for instance, um, there's some with Chrome. If you were to delete all these of Chrome, your Chrome would actually start slower than usual. But not always from that point forward. Um, because once you run Chrome, it will put the PF file in here again. And then next time you start it, it will grab the information out of here and basically preload it to make it faster. So you're not going to ruin anything by deleting things outside of here. Um, but it's definitely not going to improve the performance of your computer in any way, shape, or form. Um, also, I mean, you see that we have 373 items in here. If I check the file size of all this, we just uh, highlight it all, right click, go to properties. You see we're only using 9.24 megabytes of data. In today's world, most of us have, you know, 500 gig or one terabyte hard drive. This really is meaningless. And I've got a lot of stuff installed, so mine's probably a little bit bigger in file size uh, than, than most people would see. So you're not really saving much disk space here. You're not actually improving the performance of your computer or speeding it up. This whole thing and these videos that you see about people deleting all the contents in this prefetch folder, it's absolutely incorrect. Now, if this folder becomes too large or, you know, there's some corrupted files or something in here, yeah, you can delete them. Deleting this whole thing from time to time is not going to hurt anything by any means. It's just going to be a little bit slower to open those applications. But once those applications are open, it's going to throw a new file in here and you'll be fine. But the reason I made this video is just to steer you away from thinking that clearing this out is going to gain you so much more disk space or uh, speed up your computer in any way. So um, if you really wanted to do it, you would just, you all know how to delete files. You just come in here, do a control A to highlight all, and then you can right click and hit delete and it will delete all the contents out of this folder. So anyway, guys, that clears up that myth. Um, while we're doing this, I will definitely show you uh, some other things that you can clear. Um, so if you're in your file explorer, you can click in here. You can actually do a percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, and hit enter. Whoops, I'm not typing. Let's just do the shortcut because that's where it's gonna take me. And then once you're in here, if you just go to your local and then scroll all the way down to temp, then everything in here, the app data local temp, you can delete to gain some disk space. Now for me, like right now there's, this is taken up one gig. 
which isn't terrible, but it's not, you know, good too. I could gain a whole gig back or 1.19 gig. Um, so you can come in here and delete that. You can also go back to uh, your C drive windows and then scroll all the way down here to temp and you can delete everything in there as well. And let's see how much that will gain us. For me, this would be 21 megabytes, which really is nothing. I mean, a lot of these are text documents, as you can see. Um, so those are some places that you can delete uh, trash junk, temporary files out of to gain some disk space. Um, but yeah, stay away from that prefetch folder unless it's extremely large. You got corruption going on. Uh, just leave that alone so your applications will continue to load smoothly. Um, now, another thing... Um, if you haven't caught it, I also have a uh, another video out there that sh shows a tool that I actually created. It's called OptiFix. Um, the link is down in the description below. Should be popping up on the screen now, but if not, link is down in the description, and that will walk you through a whole slew of clearing temp files and clearing up disk space and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, that is all I had for you today. I just wanted to clear up this misconception. If this was helpful to you, click that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.